This video has two things in it. Number one, traveling, and secondly, the block charge rule. And the big player ends her dribble with her right foot on the floor, and she takes a step with her left foot, and then here comes the pivot foot back to the floor right there when it comes down right there. So that's a traveling violation. We're in a really good position. Got a good triangle going with the officiating crew. They have done a fine job. But when I see stuff like this, um, you know, if it's the rule, it's the rule. And we have to play by the rules and officiate by the rules. If the fact that the defender's heel is on that line um, and this player has the right to bully over her you and knock her to the floor, that rule needs to be changed. That's absolutely ludicrous for that rule to uh, not allow the defender to stand in a spot on the floor. This restricted area thing is... Um, uh, you know, I don't know enough about it, I guess, to uh, be fair about it in my comments. But, you know, basketball is supposed to be played. The fact that one team can stand in there and another team can't has never sounded balanced to me. Watch this again and tell me if you don't think this is a player control foul. Boom. And by the rule, if her ankle or foot is on or over that area, it's probably a blocking foul. So why get so excited and beat your hips twice and never even point to the RA? That rule, folks, if there's anybody watching this that's got to carry any weight, that's just awful. Awful for a player to be allowed to do that by rule.